Hey guys, Clint Darden here with ClintDarden.com and of course the house of biceps. I've had a lot of questions, a huge influx of questions um, at EliteFTS.com, from Facebook, uh, uh, from YouTube, emails, from ClintDarden.com, lots of different places. I keep getting the same question. People want to know what they can do when they have low testosterone levels. Should they go to the doctor immediately? Uh, should they get prescribed tests? What should they do? Um, if you've read a lot of the, the articles and, and the question and answer answers that I've given on EliteFTS.com, you will know that I am greatly against uh, doctors prescribing uh, hormone replacement therapy, testosterone replacement therapy, uh, for the main reason that it really doesn't solve anything. Uh, you go to your doctor, you have uh, low testosterone, the doctor says, hey, I can give you testosterone, it's going to fix everything, you're going to feel better, uh, you're going to be chasing your wife around the house naked, uh, you're going to get leaner, you're going to have more muscle, you're going to uh, sleep you know, maybe a little better, you're going to wake up better, you're going to have more energy, uh, more refreshed, you're going to feel like you know, you're 10 years younger, um, and honestly most of that is true, it's absolutely true. But what happens when you don't want to take an injection every week or every other week for the rest of your life? You had low testosterone levels to begin with, you're going to add test with it, basically that's going to suppress whatever you already had and if you ever decide you don't want to come, that you want to come off, that you don't want to take those injections every day for the rest of your life, for decades, then all you've done is make your natural problem even worse. I've had so many clients go to the doctor and get TRT, HRT. Not once has their doctor ever mentioned anything about coming off, about how to return their body to a natural homeostasis. Not once. I've had my clients ask their doctors, what about HCG? What about Clomid? What about Novadex? What about uh, Arimidex? What about all these other products that are, that are out there that I can get uh, with a prescription that my insurance would cover that would help me you know, maybe run my testosterone for the next uh, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, six months, whatever it is. And then what do I do whenever I want to come off? What about when I actually want to improve my, my testosterone levels? The doctors will just say, oh, we don't really believe in that stuff. It's like they're prescribing a blood pressure tablet and we're going to give you the prescription for the rest of your life. We don't care if you actually did anything to lower your blood pressure. We don't care if you ate better, if you slept better. Uh, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're bloated like a whale. I mean, they don't care. All they care is that when they get an exam that comes in, that your numbers are more average on that exam. So if we give you tests, then the next thing you know, your test levels are normal or above. You've got great test levels. Forget the fact that we're injecting you every single week for the rest of your bloody life. <coughs> Maybe that's fine when you're 25 and it's fun. Maybe it's fine when you're 35. Maybe it's fine when you're 40. But at some point you're going to be 50. And you hope 60. And you hope 70. And you even hope 80. Those are decades, my friend. Decades upon decades decades and it's not a tablet it's not just a tablet that you grab and you pop in your mouth at least not yet it's an injection and is it something that you want to do for the rest of your life so that's my little stand up on my soapbox I'm really really against uh, testosterone replacement therapy uh, for the most part I, I think if you're going to work with a doctor on TRT on HRT that you have to find somebody who says and when you come off we will do this. It has to be a part of it. Even crazy bodybuilders think like that. What happens when I come off? Well, I'm going to have to do this to raise everything else back to normal before I go back on. Now, some idiot muscle head with a head the size of a peanut and shoulders the size of a bowling ball can come up with that, but some genius doctor with a clipboard can't. Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I... 20 years ago, you know what they called people with, with low testosterone levels, with low energy levels? They called them parents. They called them married people in the 35s. They called it a midlife crisis. You went out and bought a Corvette. Uh, or, <laughs> I guess I've got a small uh, two-seater sports car myself. So, what does that say? Um, anyway, there are lots of things that can be done, uh, at least possibly, to increase your natural testosterone level. And I think that's something that, that you need to do right off the bat to begin with. I mean, the use of HCG, uh, people say, well, it doesn't, doesn't help, doesn't help, doesn't help. Well, you know what? It can't hurt. It can't hurt. Um, of course, we bought over the counter here. It's 
uh, a few cents over six euros. So you're looking at seven dollars and fifty cents for five thousand IU's, and I see it in, in, in the states uh, black market sale a hundred dollars or more, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. But if your insurance company will cover it, convince your doctor um, or find a doctor that will. Uh, it cannot hurt. I mean, there's a lot of different protocols you can you can use with that to to increase it. Um, it's what you know guys will use to if they're having difficulties having children to increase their sperm count. It can't hurt guys, um, and it's an injection that can be subcutaneous. It can be intramuscular. Um, it, it's liquid. It's pain free. It'll go through an insulin needle for goodness sake. Um, Clomid and Novadex. There's a lot of argument about stuff like this, but you know what? It can't hurt. It can't hurt to try. I mean. You know, a, a good, uh, you know, two or three, uh, three to four to six week cycles on that is, is, is a lot better than saying, I'm going to take testosterone for the rest of my life. If your only goal is just to raise your nat natural testosterone level, you know, sort of to a, at least a normal range, a better range. Um, Arimidex, obviously, I mean, why not try? You know, the biggest dangers with Arimidex, uh, especially with the other chemicals, if you're, whatever reason you're taking the Arimidex, and there are a lot of other products. That are similar, uh, exemestane. I mean, there's a lot of products that go in that nature that I'm not a really, you know, a big expert on. Um, but working with people who have had cancer and things like that, I am very familiar with, with Novodex and Arimidex, so I try to speak about those mostly. Uh, with Arimidex, there is an issue with high, possible high cholesterol levels, whether it's uh, low density, you know, increase in high density, decreasing, uh, you know, with long term use on that. So you know, use it sparingly. Um, and obviously I'm assuming that, you know, if, if you're taking these kind of steps, you are going to get exams, tests, blood work done, and, and things like that. Um, a big one, an absolute big one is triptoralin. It's a peptide. It's, it's, uh, I guess it's been out for about three years or so. I've been working with clients using it for the uh, last year and a half with great success. Now, does it return, does it give you a high testosterone level? Absolutely not. It absolutely does not do that. Uh, what it can do with intelligent dosing, with intelligent timing. You know what it can do? It can shut you down permanently. It can basically castrate you if you take too high of a dose uh, or if you time it incorrectly. So you have to be intelligent. You need to find someone who knows what they're talking about that can help you out with this. Uh, but what it can do, it can easily increase whatever your testosterone levels are by a good 30 to 40 percent. I've seen guys come to me with, with a test level of um, I think it was uh, he had like 155 and it brought him up to around 300. Um, which, I mean, it's a huge jump percentage-wise, 300 is still low, but it brought him up to 300 um, in two months, let's say. Um, I've had guys with, with test levels of 350 go to 500. I've had people with test levels of 400 uh, also go to about 500, five and a quarter, something like that. Um, we're not talking about huge jumps. We're not talking about someone who, who's naturally taking 250 or 500 of test or a gram of test or whatever. We're talking about someone who greatly improved their situation. Um, and I've seen guys go from 500 to 700 as well. So um, it, it is good for a small percentage increase. It does help you get back to normal. Uh, and we've had really good luck with combining that properly with HCG, Novodex, Clomid, uh, Arimidex if needed. Um, Tribulus is a product that, you know, it's cheap as chips. You can buy it at the store um, and it's worth a shot. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, there is a difference between increasing sperm count and increasing testosterone levels. And it takes time to figure that out. So. Um, if you're going to take test, you need to at least take the opportunity before ever taking the test to do everything you possibly can over, say, uh, an eight-week run and, and try to bring up your natural testosterone levels naturally with, without the exogenous testosterone. There are a lot of things you can do that can at least improve it. Um, and that gives you an idea on what you can do to improve it. And then if you want to go take the test, you can take the test for eight weeks, 12 weeks, uh, 16 weeks, six months, whatever, and you have an idea of what it's going to take to get your body closer to normal. So, guys, think naturally before you think uh, exogenous. Uh, it's kind of strange. I'm talking about all these other products that you put in your body. And I'm saying testosterone is a bad thing. So, um, anyway, think long term. Um, I also want to say this. Based, yeah, every single person that I've talked to about getting testosterone replacement therapy, except for two, and I'd say I've talked to more than 100 over the last year. Every single person goes to the doctor, gets their test uh, from their doctor, and they come home and they buy another bottle of tests from a friend. So they get their 200 a week uh, or 250 every other week or their 400 every other week, whatever they get from the doctor. 
and they supplement that with another couple of injections of test every single week. So, you know, honestly, most everybody who comes to me and they're, they're interested in getting uh, testosterone replacement therapy from the doctor, most of the time it's just an excuse for them to use testosterone fairly legally. That's all it is. So, uh, guys, if you, if you come to me with an issue and you're trying to get back to normal, be honest with me, be straight, be upfront. I'm not an idiot. I've seen it all the time. Uh, I know what's going on. So be straight, think natural, have a good time, uh, and think decades down the road, guys.